time to plant the tulips and this year <laughs> I'm using tractor power. For years now I've used a shovel, a rake, and perhaps an extra set of hands but this year I am calling on Brad and the tractor. He is digging a trench with the bucket to make it a lot easier on us. We're basically running out of time here. It snowed this morning. It's actually snowing right now. We have uh, temperatures dropping it's November 1st. So this is, a, I think, I think this will make the third year in a row that I've been planting my tulips in November in upstate New York. This is a new location. Can you hear me? Is the tractor too loud? This is a new location this year for the bulbs. You're supposed to rotate your tulips so you don't get tulip diseases like tulip fire, boitritis, things like that. So this is a new section. Uh, last year, I planted it the other way, down the other side of that fence. Year before, I planted some where I'm standing right now. There's my raspberry patch. And I also planted some over yonder on the other side of the raspberry patch. Um, but this year, we're going with just inside the gate by my raised beds, my birdie beds, which I love. That's where they're going to be. It's going to be easy access this year because as soon as you enter through the garden, they're right there. So it'll be the shortest distance between me and my tulips. I'll be sleeping closer to my tulips than ever before. He is going over and over and over that spot just to get... I told him I wanted at least four inches down, up to eight inches down. I honestly four to five is a sweet spot but the deeper you go the longer the stems so I don't care if he goes up to eight inches I just want them buried enough so that they're not going to freeze if they're too shallow they could freeze and the bulb will turn to mush I can't afford that we have about 10,000 bulbs to put in the ground my mother's day tulip bouquet bar which was thousands of tulips was probably one of the most profitable weekends for me when it comes to cut flower sales we sold over 125 bouquets i forget the exact count but there were over 125 bouquets plus the bouquet bar so it was just a really busy weekend so this is what i'm planning for i'm planning for a weekend of crazy tulip sales and then i have my csa and i have my bouquet of the month club all of which went on sale this week okay so he's taking off look at this trench it is amazing <laughs> guys i didn't have to lift one shovel i brought it out here just in case but i wasn't sure how deep he was gonna be able to go but this is perfect that's perfect and uh i did a little experiment last year last year i saw a couple of other farmers posting that they could grow their tulips without lining them up meticulously for years i've lined mine up meticulously with the tippy tips and the points pointing upward and the roots on the bottom. So last year I did 80% the meticulous way, the, the on my hands and knees, putting everything in way. And then I took two varieties of 500 and I threw them in the ground and I made sure that they were single level, single layer, but I did not care which end was pointing up and which end was pointing down. Did my OCD go a little bit crazy? Yes. Did they all grow exactly the same? Yeah. So I am not taking the time to meticulously plant each tulip bulb so that the tips are pointing up, not doing it, just dumping it in, making sure it's a single layer and covering it up with soil, calling it a day. Speaking of day, we're going to do that tomorrow. So it's, uh, it's late, it's, after, it's dinner time. So I'm gonna go home, I'm home, it's right there. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna cook dinner. We're having tacos tonight. What are you guys having? Anyway, I am gonna be doing this tomorrow. I'm gonna to bring all the bulbs out. Not exactly sure how many I'm gonna fit. I'm gonna guess I'll get six to 7,000. This is a lot wider than I normally do, but I think I'm gonna put a walkway in the middle. Just a quick walkway, like, like this, this wide. And then I'll do both sides with tulips and I'll label everything, of course. I keep a chart in my phone of where everything is. All right, I'm excited for tomorrow. We'll check back in then. I was breaking my back carrying over the boxes one at a time, so. I enlisted some help. Eee! 
Thank you. <sighs> okay, I'm just going over, and I have a bunch of suppliers, guys. So this is not all from one supplier. I think I have four different suppliers here. I have Jake. I have Ball, which is technically the supplier is Edney. My... Um, the person I order from is Ball, Dave Dowling. I have ADR Bulbs, which is a New York bulb company. And then I also have, who else? ADR, Ball, Jake. Hmm, that must be it. WebTrack. Ball, Jake, Edney. Yeah. Okay, I, have, I emptied all the bags. Uh, this is Dream Touch Tulip. One of my favorite, a customer favorite. This is what everyone gravitated for at the bouquet bar. I really wanted to get a single week with my CSA members with these. So I have 1,200 of Just Dream Touch. I did not make it this way. It just ended up this way. I asked one of my suppliers if they had any extra. He goes, I have 1,200. I said, okay. And so he sent them all to me. I did not mean to do this. This is a lot. So 1200 dream touch tulips this is now how i'm planting them i am going to spread them out a little bit make sure they're single layer i am going to fill the back but i'm going to keep a pathway in the middle because this is an awful wide trench and i do think in order to harvest i'm going to need a pathway in the middle so i'm going to make sure that i have that and i'm going to spread these out and then go get all the rest of the tulips this really isn't that much different than the way that i plant them individually except for they're not all going up and down. Mine do usually touch when I plant them. It's getting really windy out. I'm hoping I'm blocking some of the wind from this audio, but okay. This is a crazy way. But like I said, I experimented with it last year and it worked, so I'm trying it out. I think this pathway is too wide, so I'm gonna make it a little narrower. I went really heavy on the double tulips this year. They seem to be much more popular than single tulips. I still did incorporate a couple single tulips because I think it looks better in a bouquet when there's a mixture of both. And it gives people more of an option when they're putting together their bouquet at the bouquet bar, which I'd like to do more bouquet bars at the nursery in the spring. This beauty is called ABBA. Beautiful bulbs. This will be a little easier than the bags. Yup. I've had a mouse in this one. I knew it, I saw poop on the top. And it's been chewing bulbs, only a couple of them. One, two, three. Mm. There's a few more in there, but the majority of them are fine. This one's called Palmyra. I think I'll have enough room. Single tulip called Quebec. I think it's gorgeous. Avant-garde! Ooh, a couple of these are 
Yeah, that's one. <sighs> Couple mushy ones in here. Just don't want the rat to spread. Most of them feel fine. Double Gouda's shoo shoo shoo. It's covered up, but it's a double G word. <laughs> Kudos, I think. Foxy Fox Trot. These bulbs are gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, flaming emperor. Wow, would you look at the size of these bulbs? Amazing. Mondio. This one's called Double Negrita. Look how good they look. People are gonna be like, oh, this is not good for me. I need everything to be lined up straight. Tell you what, this is something that usually takes me a million years. I've been out here for a very short time. This one's a bit of a bummer, but I think it might be my fault. I've had these in the garage for, oh, probably six weeks now, and maybe there wasn't enough airflow. Cause the mice obviously chewed it up and then it rotted. So, oh, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. I know it's disgusting, but the majority of these are fine. This is Foxy Foxtrot. Foxy Foxtrot. This is a mistake that I made. I ordered two Foxy Foxtrots. One from this company. Hi. Veda just got off the bus and one from another company. Um, so I have more than I should, but that's okay because obviously the mice chewed up a lot of these ones. Ah, these are mice. So I'm gonna get the other two bags of Foxy Fox Trot. Wait, did I already plant them? I might have already planted them. I think I already planted them. I did. Foxy Fox Trot's right here and right here. Oops, that's okay. Now, you might be wondering why I'm not covering these up as I go. This is a mental game I play with myself because I play with myself. That's not a great thing to say. This is a mental game in which I play with myself. <laughs> that didn't help anything. Anyway, if I was covering this up as I was going, I would probably not finish because that's how my brain works. Um, if I leave everything uncovered and get all the bulbs out, then my brain, I've got to cover it all. This way I know my project will be finished because I cannot leave bulbs exposed because we have overnight temperatures 28 to 32. So this is the mental game I play with myself that if I start to cover as I go, I will say it's enough for tonight and I'll go inside. 
if I leave everything exposed, get all the bulbs down, then I have to cover everything tonight and I can't go inside until I'm done. So that's how I make sure I get my job done. Little tricks I play with my mind. Okay, we're getting down to the last few. I just opened this one up. This looks much better. No, no chewy chewy mice. This I think is the tulip other than Dream Touch, but it's similar that I'm most excited about. This one is called Columbus and it is very similar to the Dream Touch. It's a single, no, sorry. It's a double early and it has that beautiful pink with the white edges. It's dreamy. Okay, let's get it on the ground. Okay. It's done. Oh my God, Veda. I made that with a mouse. Oh my God. Not even a drawing tablet, no pen, a mouse. It's beautiful. Come show the camera. I'm rolling. Veda made this. She's taking I don't classes. know where to show. Okay. Okay, you can see it. Come closer, down. Down, uh, down closer. Down, closer. closer. Oh uh, my God, look it. what Veda made. Oh, wow. Wow, Beautiful. it's, he's majestic. Put him down a little bit. I need more hair. Uh. There. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love him. Wow, good job. Thanks. Again with the phone. Just doesn't want to stay in. I am missing some. I think my order is not full. This is Queensland. This one's a single white called White Prince. Can never go wrong with a single white tulip. Here we have Valdivia. Oh my gosh. Got it. 300 of Valdivias. I'll put a picture on the screen. They'll die if you... Oh, I'm so sorry. Who's coming? Who's coming with me? C-A-R-R-E. Better write this down. Save those bags. I reuse them when I divide my daily tubers. Oh my gosh, this is working out so well. Okay. Two hundred Queen of Night. Perfect. All right, I have three hundred Continental. Spread out the continental breakfast. This is like perfect. The perfect amount of of space. I don't my my camera shut off. My battery died. I just planted along the edge here. I did one called Labrador, Qatar, and Jackpot. I also did this Jean Pierre here. So I'm thinking it's about it's roughly. I still have to spread those ones out that's a pile but honestly guys I'm really happy with this we will experiment together but like I said I did this last year with a couple different varieties with about a thousand tulips and they all grew perfectly fine so we will see how this works this is a whole lot of tulips I'm guessing it's roughly 10,000 tulips and I've been out here for less than two hours uh, seems like a pretty decent day's work what do you think got a little pathway I feel good. Now the job begins of covering it. Brad's a little hesitant to do the tractor. He doesn't want to make a mess and move the bulbs. And uh, so I'm gonna start raking some and then afterwards we'll use the tractor to cover it up. He's, he's a little worried about putting too much soil on top and pushing everything over with the tractor. Um, so he's got a little bit of a heavy hand with the bucket. I'm gonna start out by raking on top of the bulbs so that they stay put and then he can push more on top once I get the base on top of the bulbs.
Okay, I have half of it raked over. He, this is the part he wanted me to do. Listen, there's still some, there's still some muscle in this job. So now he's gonna come through with the tractor and just push this over and then I'll rake it gently over the other side. We just don't want to put too much force on the soil and then have the bulbs um, bunching up in a big pile underneath the soil. Okay, everything is covered. It does need to be smoothed out a little bit. I can see a bulb right here, <laughs> but I'll get it. Just gotta rake down just a touch. I will smooth out the rest tomorrow, and it's time to go in and make dinner. I just wanna throw some official numbers at you. The very first bulbs were planted at 2.53 p.m. And then I was raking that soil. I finished raking before Brad came back with the tractor at 4.51. Plus I was recording a YouTube video at the same time, which we all know. Well, maybe you guys don't all know, but when you do something and you record it for YouTube or make a video about it, it takes almost twice as long. I probably could have dumped those tulips in faster had I not been stopping to talk to the camera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you don't count the trench with the, the tractor work, it was less than two hours for me to plant more than 10,000 tulips. I remember where I saw this, Sunny Meadows Flower Farm in Ohio. They have a machine that plants tulips and their workers, you sit on the back of the tractor and you just dump the tulips in a little spot and then the tulips are just dumped down. So the tulips are every which way. They don't have to be up, they don't have to be down. The tulip itself, when it starts to grow, will find a way. It always grows towards the sun. If there are still doubters out there, I mean, I'm just crossing my fingers that it works the same way it did last time. But if there are any doubters out there, we'll have to wait till spring to see how these guys did. I know some people are gonna be telling me they're too close together. Well, like I said, I planted them basically on top of each other last year and I didn't have any issues other than the hail damage, but you can't predict that. It's less muscle power, more brain power. Well, let's see. It saved me a lot of time and energy this season. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. Can we talk about that Jean Pierre tulip though? Oh my gosh. I think that's the most expensive bulb that I bought. I am living for that tulip. I cannot wait to see it in bloom next year. Tulips in less than two hours with two Sharpays. <laughs> Tiptoe through the tulip 